So Robert, what is it you do? Uh, so my colleagues and I at Yale are trying to develop uh, electronic devices that can function as a quantum computer. How does it work? The idea is that we are going to make, uh, we have already made, quantum bits that can be both a zero and a one at the same time and can, we hope, uh, process information in a new and more powerful way. How complicated is it and how fast will it be applied? Well, uh, it's still uh, at an early stage. We can make uh, small processors with a handful of bits that actually work in the desired way. And uh, what we're working on that might happen in the next 10 years is scaling up to build a machine with enough qubits that would really allow it to outperform a, a conventional computer. And how different will the computers of the future be from the computers that we use now? Uh, well, I guess it's hard to say, especially if you look far enough out into the future. So uh, if this paradigm of quantum computing works, it may mean that we have the ability to solve problems that would otherwise, otherwise be completely intractable. So. Thank you so much, Robert.